touch something on the way through, but umpire Timmins reckons it was a tie pad. So that's the end of the over. It's no wicket for eight at the moment. That's what happens when the batsmen get frustrated. They know they have to keep the scoring rate moving along. They're prepared to take the risks. It seems to me Doug, that Imran Khan's getting area. waiting for it, perfectly positioned by the Robert and the dust in his eye has struck. Well, Richie Richardson going for uh, a shot right over the square leg boundary, not timing it as well as he would have liked, straight down the throat, and Pakistan have made their first breakthrough, great start from Pakistan, it's one for 28. <laughs> Beautifully hit. The dust in the side looks to me as though he might be short of a run. One for 38. In fact, they don't come much better than that. It's the aggressive instinct of this. Really is starting to find some form now, Jeffrey Dujon. He's a lovely player to watch when he's in form. Once again, it's Sajid Ali. Might have trouble keeping this to a single. Well, the umpire can be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Umpire Carl Timmons from Queensland. May have hit the funny bone. Brings a half a smile. Let's have a look at it again. And that would hurt. Unaware of what's coming. Desmond Haynes uh, moving along nicely now. He's on 31. Jeffrey Dujon on 19. Jeffrey Dujon... Uh, Played a couple of magnificent shots. Seems to have found the middle of the bat. That's a pretty good shot. A square cut over cover. I've seen a couple of on drives in the ball duster. Fielding's not a top class. Should have been knocked down. And Haynes picks up four runs. By Haynes. That's gone. That's the first one. First six of the innings to Desmond Haynes. Well, he's taken the course he found it. At the update over last weekend. And he's hit him again over the square leg position for a six. It's one for 122 after 27 overs. Well hit, chipping down and lifting it deliberately over mid wicket for four. That's a good shot by Dujan. Give the West Indies a score up around the 230 mark. I think that's about what they look like. That's that's the 50. And I'd really appreciate appreciating that. One for one, three, two. Looking very solid. They don't come much better than that. And that is a boundary struck with a great deal of power. Brute power in that shot. So after 33.45.13. Very healthy run rate. And a lot of batting talent still sitting in the dressing room. It's Logie, Viv Richards, Carl Hooper. There he's gone. Stepping away to give himself some room. Couldn't quite get the pull shot working. Another West Indian wicket has gone down, but they're in good shape at the moment. 
race for runs continues. Innovation at back and right on the bottom of the bat. Get uh, too much timber on that. Oh, ball just ballooned out. So, look and roll, pretty background. Fine half century. West Indies, two for 173. Three bold. And it's well played. It's going away for four. In form, Gus Rogan. This could be it. 100 for Desmond Haynes. 12 one day international 100. It's a fine performance and what a great shot. Pitts, that's out. Yes, he's got him. Trying to hit down the ground. And then with the Yorker, the change in front at the end of the fine innings. That's hit his toe as well. So he's got something else to think about. This uh, wicket has fallen. Desmond Haynes being the man out for 101. West Indies 3 for 219 after 39 overs. His time and... Rogie crashes that water shot. Magnificent off drive. It's only faced 24 balls. Richards goes, oh, time to perfection. The crowd sigh in appreciation. And a great player can do that so early on. Three for 229. Full pitch and he crashes that through him in the cover. Well, this crowd seeing a batting feast by Reeve Oval. And it's up here, should be out, covers under it. Is it? Yes, he gets it. And Richards departs. And final over, simple catch at cover to a seat. He hasn't filled it all that well, hangs onto the catch. And Richards departs. Just a slog from Viv Richards, trying to get as many as he possibly could off the last over, and he holds out to Torsif. Four West Indies wickets down now. You see, Australians have really uh, mastered the art of that slower ball in limited overs cricket. Oh, that's cut away greatly. That's Rogi, bit of width under the back foot, and rest it back with the point. Final delivery. 242 the score. It's crashed down the mid off. Harper coming back to the second and does it well. So at the end of 43 overs, the West Indies are four for 244. Welcome back and keep the 35 runs more than they might have expected in this reduced overs match, maximum of 43 overs available for Pakistan. Desi Haynes once again in terrific form. 101 before Imran had him LBW, 63 to Dujon. Nicely promoted there by Vivian Richards to run him back into form and it worked. He'll be very handy for the West Indies side now, even batting down the order, Logie 40, 4 for 244 on the bowling figures. Disappointing and the fielding I thought was very, very sloppy today. Imran 2 for 49 and Wasim Akram 1 for 35. The wicket to Madassa and the others took a bit of stick but uh, there was certainly very little backup in the field and I'm afraid Salim Yusuf had a very ordinary day. So 245 for victory now for Pakistan. That, I can assure you, is going to be a very tough job indeed against the West Indian bowlers. Michael Marshall will be opening the bowling. And there is a wicket taken by Gus Logie. So Malcolm Marshall gets the first wicket for the West Indies. Yes, they're after Marshall and this one has come back off the seam. He played a little bit too early. He chipped it up and it was a very good mark. Gus Logie, a small man, getting up well and judged to perfection. So the first wicket falls. 
And he's Raja after three, it's one for nine. Fish now and faces Ambrose. Beautiful shot. Ambrose gave him some width and played the perfect square cut. Oh, he's put it down. Such a good fielder. He must be having a good trot, Kirtley Ambrose, because he smiled at that. Don't find too many fast bowlers who can raise a grin at that. Oh, that one was great. <laughs> run rate required now is over seven. Current run rate, only two. That's close, oh, very close. Finger goes up, Steve Randell. That was well bowled. Beaten on the... Well, a half defensive stroke, trying to force it away a little. That was plum in front. Need to work it on the onside. Madassa losing his wicket. Twelve runs. Pakistan now have lost their second wicket with 23 runs on the board. Here's Courtney Walsh now bowling to Salim Yusuf. There's a man down there, Keith Arthurton. He's just come on with a little bit of exercise and a touch of catching practice. Courtney Walsh has two. And Pakistan have the blues. And Salim certainly picked out the man in the deep. Short his ball. And straight down after his throat. And... Salim is on his way, and Pakistan have lost their third wicket for just 26 runs. And a nice stroke for four to take it to three for 39. Richards is coming on to bowl at the river end. Well played. Finds the gap. Three for 89. Roger Harper coming into the attack with his right arm off spinners. That's a great hit. That's a big hit. That's six. The attack he does this time over the square leg fence. And that's what Pakistan. He's going after him, he's hit that, there's a man out there, it's wide of him, it crashes into the fence, four more. So six runs off two deliveries, the ask is ten runs per over, 50 runs, superb innings under pressure. Full pitch, there it goes, high and wide for six. So we picking it up beautifully as the cross bat squatted it over mid-wicket. Three for 139. Richards with the ball in the hand at the moment. Ambrose, I guess, is the pick of the bowlers in terms of runs six overs none for 12. Jarvid Mandad the Pakistani vice captain is with the bat and there's 52 Jarvid as he comes back for a second well played it's a fine knock coming to the crease Pakistan in a crisis. Caught. Well caught there by Gus Logie in the covers. Salim had been trying to go over the top of cover. He'd done it successfully about three times, but not on that occasion. Who seems to think there is just a little bit of justice in this game. Salim Malik playing for the team. What a fine catch. And Viv. He makes a gesture to everyone. Belief in himself. You keep bowling straight enough for long enough, I guess you're going to take a wicket. Salim Malik out for 68. Pakistan, 4 for 147. Hijaz Ahmed comes to the crease. That's pretty well hit. 
Steve Brandell getting a bit of work this over, the first wide. And then he's got a signal of six. Well, that was a good hit. Seen a couple of good hits here today. Crowd enjoying this, I suppose. One out of two. One for a complete miss. And that one is a big hit. <laughs> right out of the park. Beautifully hit. There's a quick ten off two balls. That's a good effort. You come to the crease. Out. Roger Harper doesn't miss them. best fielders in and that had a bit on it let's have a look at that again he jazz huge piece of willow right in the middle and Roger Harper the tall man takes a great grab and he's done now five for 107 out as well so two wickets in two balls for the West Indies the next catch Kirtley Ambrose picks up the Pakistan vice captain we find knock of 62 pretty simple catch that one and bye bye birdie David me and dad out for 62 in just 78 deliveries Pakistan six for 170 Two wickets in two balls. Kirtley Ambrose can't get in at the batsman quick enough. That's gone. That's six. Just a flick of the wrist. Six for 176. Kirtley Ambrose comes into the skipper. That's six. So he's gone for two sixes, his last two balls, Kirtley Ambrose. And he certainly isn't used to that sort of treatment uh, on this tour. It's quite safe to Roger Hart. Oh. Now this speak until it is completely pouched is the answer. Roger Harper would have thought he had it and Vivian Richards is offering a phlegmatic countenance Roger Harper hasn't quite caught Vivian's eye at the moment I don't think the greatest fielders in the world put down to Gaper the ball just landing a little in front of where he anticipated it was getting the tips of the fingers to it down it goes Tremendous belt. And off balance as well. It's a good hit. This is all part of the learning process for Kirtley Ambrose. The odds are very much that West Indies will win the match. But uh, he could be in the same situation in a game where they have a chance of losing. hasn't pleased Kirtley Ambrose too much. I don't want to please Michael Marsh either because he's got a belt on the knee. Certainly may have felt there was uh, only a min minimum of effort went into that. Certainly would have hurt the shins of Malcolm Marshall. Hanging on the half volley, trying to get the side of the leg around and to block the four. Failing to do so, but collecting on the side of the knee. Six for 223. What is really needed for Pakistan is uh, a six off the first ball. And that would concentrate Winston Benjamin's mind no end. Catch. Well, Hooper put one down and slipped. It was quite simple early on. 
But that was a magnificent catch. We've seen a couple today, Gus Logie and now Hooper. Classic catches, that's what that is. Jumping high into the air, one hand. Made it look ever so simple, but it wasn't quite that simple. It was a fantastic catch. It was a Macram. He's on his way. Fantastic catch. Two deliveries left, 19 to win. Carefully and safely, Courtney Walsh, Winston Benjamin takes the wicket. Imran has to go. And just one ball to go. Imran Khan, the skipper, after a brave effort and a great partnership with Wasi Makram, has hold out. Imran has certainly played some attacking cricket whilst he's been there. Brilliant 37. And just 19 deliveries. Hart holding out to Courtney Walsh. Needing 245 to win. Well, they got away to a bad start with some marvellous bowling early on from Kirtley Ambrose. And it needed brilliant innings from Javed Meandad, 62 and 78 balls, and Salim Malik, 68 and 63, and then Imran and Wazim Akram putting on that marvellous partnership towards the end, 55 from just 31 balls. Gave them a glimmer of hope but it all proved to be too much in the end. The bowling figures make interesting reading because uh, Ambrose started off with three maidens and finished up with nine overs, three maidens, one for 46. Two wickets to each of uh, Walsh, Benjamin and Richards and a wicket to Marshall as well as the one for Ambrose. Uh, down in the presentation area now. So Desmond Haynes and Desmond, on behalf of us all, congratulations on a magnificent summer and good work. Thanks very much. Well, short and sweet from Desmond, but uh, what about the test match coming up next uh, Saturday? It's too far away, so... Too far away, so I man a few words, but he's bats talk for him. Thanks very much, and back to you, Richie. Well, they have that lead in the test series, and they have a big lead in the Benson Hedges World Series Cup. They've been playing wonderful cricket, and uh, they continue that here at Bill Reeve Oval Hobart today. For the moment, on behalf of the commentary team, it's good night.